Well, there's a couple of numbers that stand out like a bad hairstyle. One is the amount of penalties that Queen College have given away. The discipline has not been good, and what it's done is it's kept Selborne in the right areas of the field and their scoreboard ticking over. Made 26 tackles and missed 15 from that is just not good enough. They've missed more than half the tackles they've been asked to make, and that is a mini, 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 <laughs> mini, 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 mini mascot. Oh, I get way too excited about dogs. And he's oh, wearing don't, his... don't we all, eh? It is our passion. <laughs> Dogs first, rugby second, depending on the day. But okay, so well, you guys ready? Definitely so, but it's Queen's College with 35 minutes to get themselves back in this game. Okay, and go Queen's up with ready? a bit of pride in this FNB Classic Clash. Sina Temba, Chunungwa gets us back underway. Jared Taylor always in position to receive and dominating everybody who comes across his okay. path. Selborne Tackle showing release. their intent to run the ball from early on in spite of this wind that blows behind them. They've got space to kick it into, especially here on the left-hand side. But they bet their running power, and why wouldn't they? They have run Queens ragged throughout this match so far. Bercy continues with his crisp passing. And the superb away, work at away, number 10 away. by Jordan Janssen van Rensburg. 1.94 meters tall and surely weighing in over 90 kgs. He's a handful, as is the Selborne side. Maynard was breaking, and now running straight down the field. All the way in, over the line, is the hero, the captain, Siba Barwe Amlashe. Well, exactly where they left off their first half, they start their second half, and at Selborne College, what they're doing so well is the way they keep the ball alive in the tackle. What it means is they get over the advantage line, they're in and behind the defence, they make it look so easy, take nothing away from the SA Schools player, Samalashe, his running line, his support play is out of the book. Made it look so easy the way he ran through there, underneath the post, and Queen's College, if they thought they were going to come out like a house on fire, Think again, Chunungwa. Jared Taylor receives once more. He's been classy 99% of the time from those kickoff receipts. Just the one knock on, aggressive running straight from kickoff again from Selborne. They seem to have had the better of the team talks at half time. They are absolutely blowing flames right now as they come out of the half time break. Knock on coming from Selborne, surely an advantage being played to Queens. Not so, it's a penalty that comes their way for holding on the ground. This is an enormous opportunity for Queens right now. Like they haven't on. spent a lot of time in the danger zone of Selborne. They have to capitalize. Sorry. You knocked it so it's advantage to them. You knocked it in the back line. You're well, it's Ibeko that wins the penalty for his side for Queens College, and he's playing in a number 16 jersey. We have an interesting story. I'm, we're joined by a grade 10 student from Selborne College, Oyama Yoba. He's very keen to become a future rugby commentator and he's very passionate about the game. Oyama, tell us about the 16 jersey that Queen's College have. Uh, the 16 jersey that's worn by the Queen's uh, Centre, it's worn because one, in 1951 there was an accident where the Queen's second centre passed away, which was Victor Ma Maitland. So they do avoid wearing that number 13 jersey just to show respect and honour to Victor Maitland. Oh, lovely story. Oyama, thanks so much and all the best for your future. Oyama Yoba, the future of Super Sport Commentary. Great to have you here today. Great to be here today and we are back underway. Superbly received this time by Queen Chumani Gacheni. They've got three points on the board and that makes a big difference. A big difference. Attack quicker, out the way quicker. The six, tackler, get out there quicker. The Queen's College now have three points on the board and that really does mean a lot when you're getting hurt in a rugby match as they are right now. Trailing by 29 points and not looking like putting up much of a fight here in the second half. Especially considering the way that Selborne have come flying out of the traps here in the second half. Well, you said it, Paul, they've come flying Again, out yes, of the traps. So what the it's shot. doing is, is it's compromising this queen side defensively. They're slipping off tackles. They're chasing shadows defensively. And what it does is Selborne are over the advantage line and imposing physicality on the opposition. 
Advantage, playing him in the air. Superb line out by Queens on this occasion. Very accurate in difficult conditions, considering the wind. Breaking to the open is Tyrone Luttering. A lot of protection at rack time here for Queens. Picked Release. up quickly by some Kelly Seaway and Kamangeli. Last feet, Red Scrum Cup. Keeping it very tight, Queens. Very, very Tackle tight. Release. They have not had much success when passing to the back line. Wide. The back line players are not linking with each other in any meaningful way this afternoon. Guys need tight to the rack. They remain piling in with the numbers to make sure they secure set, set, their set, own set, position. Set. And Kanuka looks ready to clear it no, to his back line now. No, he has decided against that. Release, Dacieni go picks up and goes. Vice captain and Academy Week representative for Border. Tackle release. Now they are walking this ball forward inch by inch, slowing the game down effectively, which is also stopping the flow of point scoring, which has been coming from Selborne. But the domination of Selborne shows itself from time to time, as it did in that Play tackle. On. Once again, every Play time on. they start to pass the ball, there's trouble, but Gacheni gets it away to Gaza. Gaza off to Kanuka. Kanuka over the line for the try. The dedication of Queens shining through. Fantastic to see the spirit of schoolboy rugby alive and well. Queens strike back. Well, in any F and B classic clash, it's how classic the clash is going to be, and that was a classic try. We can watch this all day long. The quality of the ball retention. Take a look at this step from the tight head prop. Inside, outside. Finds the support of wow. the little flyer, Kanuka. Uh, so what a try. There, just tell him the advantage was for playing the guy Loved every the moment of it. Ali Kaza pressing out the steps. Done. Number three, 1.64 meters tall. 20 centimeters shorter than his hooker and his opposite prop. But they still make it work. Difficult kick for Kanuka. He tried to learn the lessons of Thomas Bercy from the first half and employ that reverse swing, but it did not kick in. Well, the step from Kaza. Look at that. That is absolutely picture perfect. You'll be hearing about that for years to come. And the way he kept the ball alive, take nothing away from Kanuka. Lovely support. Good running line. The rest is history. We certainly have a lot more in the tank than they've shown today. Do Queen's College, but... Keeping in mind, of course, they lost the reverse fixture on their home ground, oh. 54 points to nil. About two months ago, they are giving an outstanding encounter themselves here, away from home, in one of the final matches of their season. And Queens continue to drive forward now, focusing on retaining possession, and how important that is for them, especially considering that they Last have the wind Last blowing Last into their faces. Last week. But Nuka clears again, but there's pressure on the Queens oh, line. Man. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Unlucky, unlucky, kicked it into you. A lot you. of rugby happened in those few seconds, but the end result is a penalty to Queens. <laughs> there we are. What's fun? Chinungwa, there is a clear directive to s slow this game down okay, as much as six. possible from Queens Salbon to stop six. this point scoring from Salbon, Salbon. and it's working. Well, they have definitely changed their tactic in the second half. They're keeping it nice and tight and close, pick and go. It's not attractive to watch, but I can tell you one thing, considering the conditions, the wind that that's they're playing mark, into, it is effective. So, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Open Selborne, don't play the guy in there. Open Selborne, open. Chinugua into touch now from the penalty. He kicked it so flat to make sure oh, of the touch. Eight. Just evading the jumper from Queens. On this occasion, it was Ewan Diacher rising, but he could not receive, and Selborne are able to charge forward with Bercy. Constantly dropping shoulders are Selborne imposing their physicality upon this Queen's side and they have struggled to handle. Numbers on the outside for Selborne, can they work it? Tackle release. The cover comes and Jared Ramsey uh, leave it right. stepping left and right goes into the contact. Bercy feeds the back line and evades everybody but off his neck, off his neck. is there to pick up and work his way to ground. Bercy trying for gaps, throwing out a strong palm. Selborne continuing on the run now. Play on. Oh, yes. No. Chinunga eventually tried to put out the situation. Bercy gets it off to Grant Pretorius and Selborne are marching forward here. Bercy juggling the ball on the ground. It's all loose. Everybody's on sides. Janssen van Rensburg's been punished, but there was an advantage being played yeah. to Selborne. Seven wide. Hey. 
Try time, Selborne. Jacques Wilson dominates and gets over. Oh, it's Mr. Jacques Wilson that gets his brace. He scored one in the first half, and he scores one in the second. And once again, it's presence of mind, quick tap penalty. But we've said it all afternoon, Paul. They're imposing their physicality, the speed of the game. Boom, quick tap penalty. Off he goes. No one can stop him. A tale of two tactics, Selborne upping the tempo every time they touch the ball. Selborne and Queen slowing it down to a walking pace whenever they have the opportunity. Even as they walk back Selborne to take 12, the kickoff, taking 12, as much time as possible. 12. It's interesting to see this approach that Go. Queens have taken and it is working out for them. When you're ready. Well, that is the big one. Missed tackles by Queens College, 18. And what it's done is it's put them under immense pressure. And Selborne playing in the right areas, quick, lovely, good take, two-handed take from the kickoff. Really growing and working in this match is Grant Pretorius. Selborne, not many numbers at that rack, but able to recycle the ball. And that allows them to continue moving the ball at pace as this I'm Lashe. Last forward. Last forward, and we will be having a scrum down. Queen's put in. What number are you? What number are you? What number are you? It's unnecessary, that, right? Don't do it again. Last forward. It's from right there where you are. Should be fine. Some lush yeah, losing the ball in contact. Rare error from this youngster. He's been outstanding for his side. The captain, he's led from the front. Siba Samalashe, the fullback and SA Schools player in this, selected this year. Played for the border Cravenwick side Guys, and he's inspirational eight, for his side. But Queens, Three guys, with far a rare opportunity far in the red zone. They have been solid backs. from the scrum Sit though, Paul. Nice they need to evolve Coach. the play, play to the wheel Fine. and maintain Six. possession. Steady, steady. Huge yeah. opportunity for Queens, picked up at the back by Gacheni. Kanuka has dominated in the hits, and Selborne are powering back through on this here. rack. Last feet, last feet. He really could have afforded to contest that as Queens were sluggish leave and getting back. Gacheni again, though. Really carries the flame for this Queen side, does Gacheni. No hands, Selborne. Keeping it tight. You and the Release, no. Selborne players over the ball, could not keep their feet. Jared Taylor on that occasion. And that's quite a pair of feet to keep. Big strong player. Look at how he clears out that rut, causing huge problems four. for Queens. Hands beyond the ball. Beyond the ball. Number four. And that was for the earlier infringement from Jared Taylor. Oh, there's that classic hand signal from our referee Rod Harris. Right. Chit chat. Cut are. it out. Never we had a word at the start. Discipline. I don't listen to decisions when they don't listen to my decision. Hands past the ball. Don't question. Well, instruction is clear from the referee, Mr. Rod Harris. Samalashe gets called into the headmaster's office and warned. But it will be an attractive okay, line-out in a first. favorable position the for Queens. They need to firstly win it two-handed. There has been ball, a couple meter. of errors here and there from this phase. Yes. Ewan De Acher first. does take it with right. two hands as per request of Van Fusser. They do not set the rolling mall, but and give it off to Ali Kaza. Release! Who moves forward, then backwards, then forwards again. Kanuka, blind to Notkala. Notkala! Release and roll. Almost making his way to the line. Inches Connie away now, Queens. Side. Breaking blind again. They're playing under an advantage as well. Last feet. So they can try something. Von is kicking it out the ruck. A touch outlandish if that's in their locker. Looking for gaps, Trinungwa. Double blast on the whistle. This could be trouble for Selborne. Right, 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 right. Right. It's the first time we're in the game that we're down here. There's two, three quick penalties in a row. Discipline, get it right. Get it right, discipline. Scrum, let's go. Scrum chosen. After all of that, scrum down called. Selborne players being told to keep their discipline, not for the first time. Surely a final warning on this occasion. Well, you're probably right, Paul. The referee losing his patience and the sanction is a penalty that Queens have opted for a scrum. They have right, been really good at this go. phase. Coach. 
Five, penalty was sanctioned due to the fact that set. Selborne uh, kicked the, the ball line. out of the ruck. Stay on. Big scram for Barney Green, but Selborne are the ones that drive You're forward. Gacini tried to pick up quickly off the base, but all over him was Troy Maynard. Absolutely outstanding defence from Selborne. Last feet, Kanuka right wing. Just digging into this right wing, last feet. Possible that may not left that scrum early to make that tackle. Fine. Hands away, That's what I'm hearing in my headphones. Let's go, last feet here. Now Queens feet bearing outside. down on the line. Kanuka straight through the centre. Come Queens, last reaching point. out to try to tell he's lost Number control. Seven. We're going back. Number seven, binding. Stay balanced till the ball is picked up. Hands on, he's not out. Hands on, he's not out. <laughs> Play, Mappy. Sakwa Bangeli, so close, but yet so far. Try. Almost gets the downward pressure. <laughs> Penalty comes the way of Queens. The tap and go from Kanuka into the corner. Over is Ali Kaza. Ali Kaza scoring for Queens. Well, once again, it's presence of mind, and that's what it means to the supporters. I can tell you, quick tap penalty from Kanuka, who's had an outstanding game. And the tight head prop, Ali Kaza, who stepped to create the first try for Kanuka. I'll give you the credit when you deserve it. I'll give you the credit when you deserve it. Really great stuff to see Queens coming into this match. Of Iwe Kanuka very much at the heart of that, the number nine. Here he is. Oh, lucky. Oh, thought he'd got that one. Kanuka, great strike. Does not convert. Well, it's continued pressure from this Queen side, showing presence of mind. Let's remind you, the corner flag is your friend. He gets the ball down. And look at that. Oh, yeah. That picture tells a story. Behind the kicker. Queens have done themselves proud here this afternoon. Already showing up much better than in the reverse fixture. High and hanging and well claimed by Gacchani, who has to fight for his right to stay out of the 22 meter line. What approach do Queens take now? They're thinking about well, running this one, dummying and looking for gaps as Chulungwa held up off the ground. More called. Can Queens get this back? It's possible they've got hands on it if they can keep this up off the ground. But Selborne have brought it back under the control, onto the ground, scrum down to the home side. It's in and Teba. Sunungwa that gets manhandled by his opposition. He's a hell of a lot lighter. Then Trey Maynard, for example, and it's Maynard that defensively dominates him, Eight keeps him in the air. Maul is yeah. called, possession is conceded. You're right. Okay. Still man held up. Very yeah. difficult yeah. afternoon for all concerned with Queens. They've had to make so many tackles. They've missed so many tackles. There's a lack of accuracy in this Queen side, which has cost them today, but they trail by 25 yeah, really points. 18, 18. And they have managed to score themselves two tries. Five, six. Steady, keep it steady. Selborne, however, are in the perfect position to score right now. Dead center on the field on the 22 meter line. Bercy breaks, but that one is back to Raiden Masters. Oh, Scrum down being called to Queens. Yeah, Losing a touch of their own accuracy in the second half for Selborne, and it's costing them a couple of tries. Well, most well, definitely so. Coming on the wraparound is Troy Ber Bercy. Sorry, Thomas Bercy. Andy's foot, Andy's foot is the mark. Yeah, and that's where a little fingertip knock-on came into play, so therefore conceding possession to Selborne College. And you hit it on the head, Paul, with all the possession, there have been a couple of handling errors where they've conceded possession in the second half. Right, crouch. Bye. Set. Five, hold your five. Hold your five. To feed the scrum is Kanuka. Deep in their own half, Queens. Gacheni off to Kanuka, looking for gaps in the center. Release, field. roll, tackle. Our oh, Queens for once getting the wings, Taken working Sia Chulu employed. And that clearance is well into touch by Sina Temba Chunungwa. It's well into touch, but unfortunately it was carried back into the 22 meter area, so it will be a line out from where Sam, the fire. ball was kicked. Sorry, 
It's oh, dropped, the pain it's continues dropped, to be piled upon the boys from Queenstown. Uh, the sub won't have another Queens, opportunity Vula. to come at them. Vula, 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 open up. Vula. Okay. Bilingual approach from our referee, Rod Harris. At front pod, open please, thank you. Jacques Hwassen to feed. Wait till it's out, eh? Hwassen takes his time, ball, hits I'm his man. Solborn set another rolling ball. It's been so productive today. And now there's no resistance from Queens. They need to get men in behind that. Solborn have a very good chance of moving this forward, but they cannot pull themselves okay, towards the themselves and start driving forward. They Out finally the do line, manage Queens. to wheel somewhat. They have to wait for the Queens Stop players moving. to fall Stop off the moving. bone here. And they are continuing to move forward. Hwassen looking over the top, staying crouched, staying hey, tight. Joining ahead of the ball carrier. Joining ahead of the ball carrier. That is top quality refereeing. You have to know your specificities if you want to referee the mall contest. Okay. Sorry, Paul, you have to know your what? Specificities. <laughs> I love that word, your specificities. <laughs> I'm getting tongue-tied here. <laughs> but it's it's clear uh, obstruction. Two, Take a look at the big the number eight. Join on behind you and the ball. Raiden Masters, so he goes in and you. over the ball, okay. therefore creating a number truck and trailer. Ahead of you. Take so a look. You've got a guard behind him and behind you, and you've got to feed the ball. Cool. A little bit tight. <laughs> yeah, but, um, uh, you did join ahead of the ball carry. You see a lot of it, though. I suppose you have to join behind the last man and have the ball passed back to you. It is the correct In other call words, from you referee Rod Harris. Sliding. You I can't found out something interesting, Bum, before the match when I spoke to the coach really? of Solborn, and he said there's only one uh, player in their team who's off, played please. every minute of every match, and that is the number eight. Raiden Masters is what we have him down as. His name is Regan Masters, according to his coach. Line, and he's line, in grade 11. He's played line, every line, minute of every game. It's impressive. Oh, that is mine. impressive, but Selborn also mine. littered with the Lumini. Mark open, Boucher, open, open. Jody open. Schechter, 1979 uh, Formula One front, World Champion. Open. Alan Gray, front, CEO open. of Alan Gray Limited. Both Somebody these schools out. producing top South Africans for many a long year, hey, and that I'm tradition happy. continues. But here's Jacques Hwassen, charging at them, keeping the hands going. Selborne shoveling it out wide now somewhat, but they have managed to find space on the outside. The Queen's defense does cover, but moving forward Release easily is Nikaya Tengim Fane. And look where he finds himself now, inches out. Selborne surely have to make the way over here. Tackled short is Tratabu. Hwassen again! Try, there it is down there. Jacques Corson is dominating here in East London today. Quick as you like. Extra two points. I think that's his hat trick. I think you're thinking right, Paul, but I can tell you this Corson youngster, he has been a catalyst for the Selborne side to get over the advantage line. Take a look at his body position. That just makes the difference. It takes three Queen's College players to bring him down. But with the forward momentum and the strength the, the youngster has, he becomes so difficult to stop. Queen's, this match got away from them some time ago, but they have brought it back under control in the second half impressively and put their own points on the board playing into the wind once again it is jared taylor rising right, high right, to right, receive please. the queen's kickoff and to begin solborn's counter attack can't keep pressing against him penalty comes against him this time. place it on his back place it once and play on don't try and look penalties i really like the way that rod harris has handled this match you're trying to milk a penalty you're placing six times don't try and milk a penalty For touch, Sinatemba Chinungwa. Once again, it's well Place taken by Jared Taylor from the kickoff. He made an area in the first half, but he's made amends in the second half. He's been exceptional in this facet of the game. Penalties oh. conceded 10, oh. Selborne, 7 queens. Uh, Selborne at the front, open please. You really have been coughing them up, especially so in the second half, Selborne. Thank you. Got lucky not to get a yellow card just a mo couple of moments ago. This is Tyrone Lottering. Well received by Queens. All of these line-ons look very Same shaky and they're just behind. taken at the top of the jump. But Queens have set a rolling ball of their own this time. 
Can they get the momentum going? It appears they've been stopped, very disjointed, breaking to the open side again. Down to ground it goes, no advantage being played. Roll away! Tanuka waiting for the ball to present itself, there it is. Last feet! Stepping into position first is Tyrone Lottering. Turns out to be a support player in this carry. Queens continue to keep it tight, but this time they're going to spread it. Trinungwa sends it wide. Confusion in the midfield. Obstruction is the call. A penalty against Queens. And that was Sia Chulu in possession. But Selborne are straight onto the attack. Bercy, and they spread it wide, showing pace on the outside. Now Selborne. The inside ball is to Jared Ramsey. Tackled the ground. Bercy is there in a flash. Selborne have numbers to the left. And they are spreading it. Hands, hands, and hands again, and they're in for the try. Troy may not chop down in a crucial tackle by Ewan de Jager, who recognized the trouble, shot out of the line, and made his tackle. And that's another fine tackle on Jordan Jante van Rensburg. But Salborn haven't stopped. They've got numbers now. Surely they're in for the try. That's exactly what they're going to do. Mtungwa Mabansela. Uh, Mapancella gets his name on the board. But the quality, I've said it all afternoon, That's the it. speed of the recycle, the quality and the timing of the passes in front of heavy traffic, they make it look so easy. Let's get the guys working a bit harder. Mapancella. Yeah, Interesting story with Mapancella. Before the season play. begins, uh, yes. SA Rugby puts together an elite player development squad. Now, there was only one player from Border that made it into that elite player development squad, and that was the number 11, okay. Chungwa Mapancella. But he didn't happen to be one of the players that made it into oh, the yes, SA school side eventually, off. although he did three go to Craven off. Week. So it just shows you that even though SA Schools does prepare players that with the elite on, player yeah. development squad, that doesn't mean you're going to go and make it into the SA Schools team. But Mapancela does appear to be an outstanding player. You can see how he made that squad, first of all. Right. Oh, most definitely so. Also, the fact of the matter is, as well, not necessarily that if you home. make Craven Week, or if you don't make Craven yeah, Week, that you're not going to further your rugby career. There's a lot of big players that haven't oh, played Craven going. Week and have gone all the way to get their ball colours, Paul. Apiwe Janji, certainly the most prominent of those of late. Peter Rousseau, back in the day, he played third team as well. SP Marais, but here comes Selborne's first team, breaking clean up the field. Numbers to the blind, and this is Troy Maynard. Maynard is trying to stretch away from backline players. The inside ball is out of this world! Get a load of that! Selborne are celebrating! Well, it's James Flanagan who gets his name on the ball, but outstanding play from Selborne. Take a look how they keep that boy, ball alive. Troy Maynard, there, the chicken wing not. offload is out of this book, and the support play is even better. Oh, I love school boy rugby. Excitement stations are always manned when you're watching a schoolboy game. Queen's almost ready to get us back underway in this breathless rugby match. Chunungwa launches it high into the sky as this FNB classic Ford. clash continues. And what a classic clash it I'll has been. Come back, come back, come back. No. Well, it's the level of classicness in the FNB classic clash. Right, right, and I'll tell you what, this has just hit boiling point. The way that Selborne College is keeping this ball alive. Yes, seven handling errors, slightly more than Queen's, but you would expect that due to the fact that they've had so much possession in this fixture. Two. This guy. Uh, you got to go back, you got to go back. You got to go back. You got to restart, where they go? We have some replacement on, confusion on. going on right now. Two. Okay, going. Sub two. And we have another replacement coming two, on, eh? this time from Queens. We'll eventually get this sorted. One. One. That is one, Leslie eh? Patsika. 
in a 20 jersey for Queens going off for Selborne. Guys, the radio is crackling a bit on that side. Kalini Kelly, Klapabu in the number one jersey. <laughs> and McLaughlin makes his way on. Keegan McLaughlin for Selborne. Right, making a lot of new guys. Yeah, let's work together. Crouch. In the arms of an angel. Bind. Set. We will reset this scrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to reset. The battle at time. scrum time has been fascinating Wait today. Wait Queens coughed up Kirby a tight head at the most crucial of times. So Solvon have shown the power Come. Come. at certain Come. times, but at others it has been a very, Come. very even contest. Come closer. Come closer. Come. Come closer. <laughs> closer. <laughs> a very friendly right. kind of demeanor from okay. referee Rod Harris. Guys, guys. Oh, definitely so, We've but there haven't six, been many minutes. reset scrums in this no fixture. Nonsense. Now these new guys here and this all of a sudden talking. Focus. Let's go. Both sides right, have been solid in this phase of play. Fine. Set. Steady. Let's get it in. Steady was the call, stay but on, Queens were on. anything but, and they are shifting. Solborn starting to dominate the scrum battle. Ready Everybody saw that run coming, Away. and they had it covered. Gacheni was on duty. Your own player. Naidu. Finally carrying ball again. He did so much of that in the first half. Percy, this is the pace of the Solborn game that really is finding Queens wanting right now. But they continue to thwart them with great defense. Superb tackling, but they get bust open time after time. And it's happened again. Jared Ramsey. Okay, nine off, eh? You're going off, 20 coming on. Well, I've said it for 65 oh, minutes. Okay. It's just the oh, speed okay. and the physicality that the Selborne College side are imposing on the opposition. They are dominating that area of the game. They are dominating the collisions. They are getting over the advantage line. Speed of delivery from their scrum half, Thomas Percy, has been exceptional. And this man out wide has got so much pace, has Ramsey. No one can stop him. Oh, wow. The stellar year for Selborne College continues. 62 points on the board and just a couple of minutes left to play still in this derby. They put up 54 points away from home at the wreck and they've put up 62 here on their home ground. A loud golf style shout of get in the hole every time the kick goes up. Execution is perfect. And there's no answer to blistering pace, and Ramsey shows a clean set of heels. He knows where trial line is. Coming off the field is a hero of Selborne, Thomas Bercy, Three. who's burst his way into the SA school side and deserves all the applause that he is getting from his schoolmates. High, high kick. Finally contestable. They needed a lot more of those throughout the match, did Queens, in order to be competitive. But they launched it every time straight into the arms of Jared Taylor, uncontested. And they did not give themselves the chance to disrupt. And here is the aforementioned Jared Taylor, dropping shoulders, but making no ground this time. You put yourself in there. You put yourself there. Leave him. Not ten advantage. Tap and go from Solborn. It's Oyongo Fani, who's on the field in the scrum off position to replace Bercy. Not back 10 meters. We will hey, go back go for quickly, another penalty quickly. to Solborn. Can't go quickly. On the IRs, on the IRs. Both of these schools had a very difficult let's season drop, last drop. year, finishing around the 35th the, uh, plus positions on the rankings, if you okay. choose to give those rankings any credence. But both okay. of them played around 20 matches and won 10 of those matches, so 50 50 season at best. That's not the case this year for Solborn. That kick goes into touch. Hey, if you're going to sack. Courtesy of Jordan. You're going to sack. Let him come down Highly first. Impressive though. number 10 for the black and white hoops. <laughs> on the line there, on the line. Only lost three matches this year, Selborne. And those are to DHS, Drusty, and Grey Bloom. Grey College, of course, who have just played a match against Grey High on your World of Champions. Mappy. Wilson feeds. Play Jared on. Taylor steps the man cold. Leaves him in his wake. Another one is gone. The inside ball. They will not get to the try line, but they are in perfect position. Spreading the ball out to the back line is funny. Can they make the tackles on Horsen again this time? What a pass to Ramsey. Rounded off in the corner. Salborn continue oh, to drop the hammer. Oh, 
once again. It's their go-to men. Jared Taylor gets over the advantage line. They find Huisen, who gets given too much space. He's allowed to do the Shaquille O'Neal flick off the top. There he should have been put to ground. But the fact of the matter is the ball is kept alive. It's front foot for momentum for this Selborne College side. And that is why one minute, the scoreboard one minute. looks the way it does. It has gotten out of control, hasn't it, Vim? Things were looking slightly more contestable in the first half, but Selborne have come out into the second and absolutely torn things up. And this is Jordan Janser van Rensburg taking over the kicking duties. This will be tough. Can you free? Ooh, sorry, Buck. Jordan Janser van Rensburg cannot act the extra points. Although, Last if play. you were just to listen to the Selborne crowd, play. you would believe that he'd put it right over the bar. Very supportive. Last play. Well, it is the last play of this FNB Classic Clash. There's time for one restart. Chinunga will have the duties. Selborne will certainly be keen to score another try. And so will Queens. Can they get their hands on this last ball? Good contestable kick again this time, but they cannot get on it. And Troy Maynard drags it down for Selborne. Jared Taylor, natural ball carrier, carries again. Selborne just have two games left in their season following this match against Dale and against Grey High. And they are charging at Queen, so full of confidence in the second half. They're really starting to treat this Queen side with disdain. Ramsey sees a gap, almost cuts through. What a ball that is. The chip over the top. Who's chasing after this? Queens have a man back, but does he have enough pace? Von Larcher! Is he in? Get a lot of that! What a way to finish an FNB Classic Clash! Pure pace from Selborne College. They continue to dominate on their home ground, and they take it home. They make it look so easy, but what Selborne College have done so well all afternoon is the way they keep the ball alive in the tackle defensive situation. Offloads from the ground, offloads in the tackle. They make it look so easy. You only play as well as your position allow you to play. And I can tell you one thing, Selborne College have shown why they had 16 players in the Craven Week side for Border and why they have five players in the SA School side. Vam, it has been an absolute pleasure to be with you here today in East London in this wonderful school of Selborne College. It has been a pure joy from your world of champions. Thank you for joining us. 12 tries to two, Selborne win, 76-13.